Hi Matt fans, Xavier has been in touch and he has been asking about merging shapefiles. So Xavier, thanks a lot for getting in touch and coming up with this question. It's a goodie. Now, when we're merging shapefiles, uh, we've got Xavier's um, example here and we have UK regions and then England regions as well. If I turn off England regions, you can see that we've got the UK regions underneath. So we've got Scotland, Wales, England and Northern Ireland. And the shapefile that he'd like to merge with this is the regions of England. So we've got like London, West Midlands, whatever. Now let's have a look at the attribute table for the England regions. Here you can see we have the names, Northeast, Northwest, etc. They're in RGN 15NM. That's the column heading for that. And in the UK regions, we have name one, which gives us England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. So two different column names for our names of each of these features, and we need to merge these together. So let's take a look first at how we can do the merge. So merging is pretty easy. All we need to do is go up to processing, get into our toolbox, and then if you type in the top here, just type merge, and we've got here merge vector layers. So I'm going to double click that and open it up. It will ask us for input layers. I'm going to use my ing regions and my UK regions. They're the two shapefiles that I would like to merge together. Destination CRS is okay because mine are the same CRS. I don't need to do any changes there. And then I'm going to ask it to save this to a file because I would like this on disk. So I'm going to go for, uh, let's just call it OJB merged. And instead of geo package, which is what QGIS3 defaults to these days, I'm going to go with shapefile instead and save that and run it in the background. Boom, done. Couldn't be easier. So now we've got this merged file, let's bring it up to the top so we can see what it looks like. And you can see that it's put the England file over the top of the merged regions. So we might need to do something with that a little later on. But for now, we've got all these merged and let's have a look at our attribute table. Now the attribute table looks a little bit weird here. We have a number of different columns and some of them have things in, some of them don't. So what it's really done here is tried to merge the two attribute tables of England regions and UK regions together. Now, obviously it hasn't worked because we don't have the same names up here for our fields. So England regions has different field headings than UK regions. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to map these uh, prior to doing the merge or during the merge itself. Um, I'm sure there is a method. If you know it, please point it out to me. That would be really useful. But for now, we're just going to do a little hacky thing and we're going to add a new field, call it Uber name, and we are going to put our names into that field. So let's make a new field to start with up here. If we go on to edit, toggle our editing mode, and we are going to add a new field. The name is going to be Uber name. I don't like using name because that can be a reserved word. Uh, so it's better just to give it some extra stuff. Don't need any comments. Uh, the data type that I'm going to use is going to be text and it's going to be a string. And the number of characters is going to be, oh, let's play it safe and go with 50 just in case. And okay, that. Now we should have over here Uber name. And currently these are all null values because we haven't populated it yet. With our Uber name column all set up and ready, the next thing that we need to do is populate it. Now I'm going to do this in two stages. I'm going to first of all select the GBR ones. There we go. I've selected those four. And I want name one here to go over to Uber name. So up at the top we have a little drop down, we can choose any of our fields. I'm going to go for Uber name, it equals, and then I'm going to choose which one I want it to equal, and I want it to equal name one. Then, because I've got 
uh, record selected over here, I have the option to update all or just update selected. So I'm just going to update selected. There we go. And instantaneously, we've got England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Now I'm going to invert my selection, uh, which is, I always forget which one this is. There we go. Invert selection. So everything that wasn't selected previously will now be selected. And I want RGN 15NN to equal or to be Ubername. So I've got Ubername there. In the drop down, I just change this to region 15NM and update selected again. There we go. And now we've got all the names that we needed into our Ubername column. So if we're doing any selecting or anything like that later on, we can just use this Ubername column to do that. Absolutely fine. Now I did point out as well that in this merged um, file, we've got England sitting over the top of those regions, which is not particularly required. Uh, so what we could do, we could do this through symbology. We could make England itself as a feature see-through and everything else solid, or we could get rid of England altogether. Depends what you actually want to do. Now don't forget, we're still in an edit session, so we've still got these X's all over the place. And in order to save what we've done, I'm just going to save my layer edits. And then I'm going to turn off the tick and stop editing. So we could go into this, as I said, go into our symbology. And we are going to do categorized. Let's add all of them. Uh, going to go on the Ubername column. Symbol is going to be whatever. I'm going to classify that. They've all been added in. Now I could remove this one. Oops. Remove the one that we don't need. There we go. That's all other values. And then where is England? There it is. I'm just going to change this from being a simple fill. I just want it to be transparent. Okay, that. And okay, that. And now we can see below we have got our regions. Let's undo all of our selections as well. There we are. Now you can see our regions and we've got Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales on there as well. So there we go. Thanks a lot, Xavier, for getting in touch. Um, I hope that's been useful to you guys. If you do have any problems with merging shape files or anything like that, of course, do get in touch. So don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to leave a comment and please subscribe. Get very, very close to our milestone. I'm very excited about this and we'll keep you updated. Happy mapping.